another rather wet episode of Arms Trade Tanks Tycoon. Look at this specimen. We made that. We also made this, which is right lovely. And we make this nazzy thing. I don't think you'll ever see that thing on the battlefield. We have a look at something else that we can do that's right snazzy and BOP! There we go. Isn't that lovely? America get wet for tanks for the first time. We finally create the Liberty Tank and then we screw over the Italian government like we should. And then the French because we can. This is a little bit of land ship. Isn't that right lovely? Would you look at that? Looks a little bit odd. The Germans finally decide tanks are a good idea, so we screw them over as well. Stay tuned. You must love gaming because you are watching this video, so why not save yourself some money and get on instant gaming? They have everything you could possibly want. The new stuff, the pre-order stuff and the classics. Honestly, you're missing out if you don't get on here. There's a link down below in the description. You can thank me later. Arms trade tycoon tanks again. Let's continue our mission of global domination. Current contracts that we have are this one. They want a load of these, apparently. Isn't that right? Lovely. They are that good. We've managed to max out the price of profit that we get for them. Isn't that just... Mm, 34 of them as well. That is excellent. And this is to the French. The compet... Try again. The competitor is this, the Saint Shimon, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, yeah. It's just... Smashes that out of the park. Isn't that right, lovely? The French got weak at the knees. Had a few tanks designed last episode. This is one of them. I like the look of this thing. It's right lovely. This is a Hornet tank, but it's got the tranks of goodness on it. Honestly, I really do like the look of this thing. It's right lovely. Ooh, graphical doodah there. Honestly, I really like this one. I reckon the British are going to want this soon because they have a new concept, which is a exploration tank which is about 20 tons, which would match the Hornet. So I've given this a good update, and it should be right lovely for them. Look at that. Right lovely. We also did this. This is an upgraded Whippet tank, again, with the nice, wide, funky tracks. I don't know why, but I really like them. And this one has the French turret on it, not the German one, the French one. Oh my Gideon, that fires like a bloody machine gun. <laughs> okay! Right, well, I won't want to mess with that, and I don't know who's loading that thing, but <laughs> they are a beast! That is a, um, what is it, a 45mm shelling? I'm kind of stuck, but no. <laughs> that is insane. And we also give this a bit of a makeover. This is the one that everybody seems to like. It's the tankette. It's got a six pounder cannon, which is right glorious. We've got the tracks. I've just realized they are also inverted. <laughs> Alrighty. But no, this is the one that's been making a lot of money for me. Italy, not Italy. Yeah, Italy has even bought some of these. The Ottomans or the Turks have bought some as well. The French have bought a good number of these. And they are making me rather juicy with excitement. Especially now this one has been updated. Only slightly though really. It's just more cosmetic work than anything else. But uh, as soon as we're building lots of them. I thought sod it. I'm going to make one which actually looks the part. Out of the three. Let me know what is your favorite one in the comments so we had that contract to the french didn't we 34 of them we've already got them sent off to frankia and that's gonna make me rather rich indeed currently just shy of six million in the 
bank. Wish I had that in the bank. That'd be right lovely. Supplies are looking pretty good. With more on the way. What are we producing? Oh, we're producing more of them. That's the big one. Alrighty. What have we got in storage? Ah, 13 currently. We're building a couple more. Right. Yeah, that was it. Because we were going to get the numbers up to 50. I've got 30 of the older LK Krupp German thing. The uncolored one. I don't like that one. I like the new one now. And then we've got 10 of the Hornet Mark 3s. Now, which one? Isn't that the old one? Or did I actually get some of them built? I don't actually know now. I'm going to have to investigate. No, they are apparently the new one. So that's good. So I've got 10 of them. Currently, we're getting this one on the go. This is a LK2, but it's got the Whippet tracks on there, which are nice and wide with the flappy doodars and the French turret. I'm going to see if they like it better than this one. Because this one has lower attributes sum altogether. But this one should be better on paper. There's an extra machine gun on there. And overall, to be fair, I like the look of this one more. It looks quite nice. These are all the French ones. the With the German turret on there. The standard for the tank. And I don't know what that one is. I think that's just a generic one. What I could even do is see if people are going to like this tank, but on the Whippet tracks. Now, they weren't too keen on it with this, just because, really, it was too heavy. Now, there's only 600 kilos in it, but that makes a bit of a difference. I'm going to try it, actually. I'm going to see, because I want one with the nice... Whippet tracks on it anyway. I mean, those are Whippet tracks, but you know, the ones which look right lovely like that. I want that on it because that'll be cool and right lovely. I might even give that an update just because I want the nice tracks on it, them ones. That'll also be right lovely. And just because I can, this is the Whippet with the German turret. I'll get it with these track inserts rather than them just because I want them can't really update this any further yet we've nearly researched the liberty hull now this one is a mark one hull on the older tracks and so is that however i want them with the extra inserts just honestly i don't know why i just think it looks really good <laughs> now these all have the warhorse bits on them now, I'll only need to build these if Britain wants a resupply contract. But if, if, I don't think we've lost a single tank yet. Maybe one or two. So it's going to be a million miles away, I think. In terms of engineering new part... Oh, hang on. Krupp turret mark 2. What did I do on that? Oh, I think that is just a... The thicker steel. Yep. Now, we're all good. Oh yeah, that was it. And then we're going to do that one as well. So improve the armor on these, essentially. And that is what's happening with that. Research. Look at this. 21 days left. Finally, it's been taking a few episodes, not going to lie. Then we can finally get that. Once we've grabbed that, the central cab on top of the damn thing would be right lovely. And a key feature with this research is it comes with internal communications mark II which is actually a bit more of a telephone rather than some wires which are darted around our little things that you find in the park what they're called um try to find them here we go yeah a pipe with a funnel on each end you just scream into it and oh, you'd have to wouldn't you <laughs> then we can look into the enhanced running gear and a better engine and then more firepower i think current wars which our tanks are in we have the french and liberia war and they are actually on the defensive the french with the liberians coming in with the infantry gonna try and take on oh they, they, this has already happened they tried to take on our tanks that we made and we murdered four and a half thousand of them to zero losses not a bad result we have the remnants of belgium versus portugal 
Britain is trying to slap Ethiopia, but somehow they've just been slapped in the face so hard you will not believe. If they send the tanks in, then that'll probably be the end of that. But until they do and wise up, then psh, no idea why they're not doing that. Sweden and Norway not looking good for really if things get a bit bogged down. And then we have the Netherlands and Luxembourg. People are being eaten. So we did that with the turret. Now I'm going to go and stick on the thick steel on this. And like the German bolt still. Turret down Mark 3. Very nice. Turret hatch. We're going to go for the Mark 2. That gives the best stuff. French one is meh. The German one is just bloody awful. And then communications. Little pipage in that you scream into. Excellent. So that'll be an upgrade in just the thickness of the thing. All well and good. That'll only really affect the bigger tank. But the more armor we can stick on that, the better. Ooh. Something I didn't realize. We can actually improve the one on the F. Hey, oh, on the, uh, oh, well, this one, which is the Mark V hull. Mmm. Does it know that? I might leave it, though, just because it'll be a right path, and we'll be building the Liberty soon enough. Supplies from Africa are going to be delayed. Fantastic. Oh, we've got a tank delay. Oh, we love our delays, don't we? Production has completed as well. What do we get them on now, then? I might as well build a few more of these. Currently, I've got 16 in stock. So, if I get that to 50, that would be right lovely. I'll keep it busy for nearly two months as well. That's lovely. It's going to eat all of my resources. Oh, jeez. Hopefully, we don't get too many delays. But I know pretty well that they're going to sell. And it takes time to get them done, you see. So, better keep them on it now. This little thing, we can... This goes on top of the Mark V. It might even go on top of the Liberty as well. I don't quite know, but we're, we'll upgrade this with thicker armor also. Because we can. German vision ports, they are the thickest. And they are great for actually looking what you're shooting at. Isn't that wonderful? This is the male spon uh, female sponsor. I don't think I'll be using these ever again. But just in case we need a refit. That's if I made any of these, that is. I'm not even sure anymore. I'm going to upgrade this as well. Thicker steel. German bolts. There might be internal communications in the other one. But regardless, it needs boosting. Ooh, war has concluded between Portugal and Belgium, with Belgium winning. That is actually probably a good thing for them, because Belgium no longer has any existence on the European mainland. And this is all that remains of Belgium. They were fighting over Katanga, I think it was. So they will survive a little bit more. Militarily, they're not looking great, to be honest. Their troops are knackered. They've only got one full-strength infantry. They were up against Portugal, which haven't been in too many wars. But they're a lot more up to strength than what they are. So for that was to carry on, Belgium probably will fall. Between the British and the Ethiopians... The infantry on the British kind of got slapped, so they sent in the artillery, and it would appear that, oh dear, a good number of Ethiopians got blown to pieces. Not good. And there we have it. We have delivered tanks to the French. We're now up to 7 million, somehow. And yes, that currently leaves me with zero contracts left Bills, so we're just stocking up now. Female sponsor upgrade complete. I'm now going to do the male one. I don't think I did that neither. So the good steel, German bolts, some pipes to scream in, German eyes, a British door, apparently they're good, and a British turret hatch. There we go, our LK2 Mark IV is completed! 
So this is the German hull with the French turret and the British tracks. Now I needed to do the same, but with this one, I think. Well, the only difference being really that it has the all the tracks, and we just want the proper tracks in there because I like them more. With it having whip it. Oh, hang on. Can I even change that? No, I can't. Oh, what a dizzy. I did it. Click the right button. Well, we'll go for that. That one is... It says Mark 2 on it. Attribute sum is lower. I think this is just a lighter hull. Engine. We can go for the bigger one. The whip it tracks of goodness. The German turret. Now, that one is made of the thicker steel. Well, that's the thought. Is that hull made of the thicker steel? I don't think it is. I don't think people are going to want this anyway, so we'll not bother. The latest machine guns that we have. Throw a lot of men in there. Crammed in like sillies. We'll paint it. Oh, I don't know. That colour. I know I want. I'll go that colour. That's right. Just because then it will match that one. Was it that one? Yes, it was. Ooh, there we go. Wrong one. There we go. Da -da. Now, I am a bit of a perfectionist, but I like it, so I'm going to do it. Oh, no, I didn't. So the hull, I did spot this because the color's different. I didn't make it out of the newer steel. Okay. Well, did I do that one out of the newer one? No, I didn't. Ooh, okay. Some updates to potentially do then. This is the one that everyone seems to like a lot. So I'm going to get them to design a new hull for this then. That's just a wee bit better. Well, that is the only difference. The steel that it's made out of. It is 250 kilos heavier. But it is what it is. It's far more expensive. But you do get the protection of the spall. Is it spall? Yes. Which none of the others have. Ooh. No free slots for new projects. Upgrade your building to expand your capacity. I see. Well, that was probably because I've kept every single one. So that means I need to do a bit of cleanup. Can I actually delete these? Don't think I can. Now, I can only delete the ones which are in draft. Well, that is rather irritating. They better let me know more. How do I get rid of them then? Sweat. Right. If I cannot build a Liberty tank after this, I'm going to go mad. Ooh. The sight of the rumbling metal beasts on the battlefield of Europe have taken the United States by storm. Already the army has ordered blueprints of the Reynolds FT with a first order of more than 4,440 light tanks given to... Wow, jeez. Didn't quite realise it was that many. The tank FIFA has also led to many projects planned to undergo testing in the following year by companies such as Holt, Best, and even the Edercott Johnson Shoe Company. Okay. Already, observers predict interesting advances from the new continent but will be able to rival but will it be able to rival the old i don't know british empire has improved its artillery with a tractor resources have arrived i better get some more in Ooh, a new war serbia and bulgaria both have been battered a wee bit more serbia they Austro-Hungarians decided to invade them a few times. That's what the battlefield looks like. So this is Serbia. They've got a few bits. Their economic strength is 98. Ooh, more than what I thought it was going to be. And Bulgaria, 95. However, what state is the military in? Bulgaria, pretty strong and untouched. Eight regiments. But Serbia... Ah, uh, yeah, now, nah, look, they have been slapped about, and that is not good. Units involved in the combat. Oh, currently, just two fresh infantry units altogether, and that is it. 
Hmm, could go either way, that one. Research completed. Reinforced hull. Ah, uh, yeah. Nice. We have the Liberty Tank. I like it. Now, instead of getting that straight away, because that's going to take a day and a half, I'm going to go and get the improved fuel and the better tracks first. Or can we machine guns be put on that? It looks like we might be able to. But I'm going to go for the fuel first and the tracks because they will be right lovely. And they can hold more weight as well. So we'll get the fuel done. 65 days. That's not too shabby. Now then, we should be able to stick together the hull of the damn Liberty Tank. And it better let me. There it is. Wow, I forget how long that thing is. It's huge. Wish everything was huge. That'd be lovely as well, wouldn't it? <laughs> right. Well, first things first. The site is one of them. I presume that that swivels about. That is supposedly the best one. It's the new one. The crew aiming is significantly improved. So, well, yeah, it's a science what it's for. Make it out of the good stuff. A voltage will go for the German bolt. Communication, we've got flappy paddle one, two, or three. Three looks exactly the same as two. Might be different colours. But we'll, uh, we'll go for three. Communications, we want these screamy panels. Shell storage in there, yes. Fuel storage in there as well, yes. Now you would think that that fuel storage would be positioned at the back because this is the first tank where the compartment for the engine was separate to the main body. And the fuel's at the front, so you'd think the fuel should be more at the back because that's where the engine is, but... Who am I to say what it is? Now on the roof itself we have this now that is fairly accurate i don't know if they designed that after but what they did do especially on the mark fours is they made some big balls a bit like this but not out of wood or anything there was i can't remember what it was they were like twigs and things and they bundled them all up and they stuck them on top of the tank say up here and then when a trench came across, because the Germans widened their trenches because they figured out that the tanks couldn't get over um, three over three meters or something like that, or three and a half, something like that. So they widened them and then the tanks got stuck in. So to fix that, they stuck a doodah but further up the front. The tank would drive up to it, pull a little lever and it would fall in. Filling the trench in a little bit and just driving across. And that's how they came across that. We're certainly not having them stupid things on the end of this thing. But yes, we shall stick that together. And it only takes 12 days. Now, I don't know if the old tracks are going to fit on this. So we'll have to find out. Ooh, Italy want tanks. The Vanguard kind. That is the ones that we already have. They are the big boy tanks. And so if we have a look, see, yes, they get rather wet over that. Competitor has a score of around 411, so we've just knocked them out of the park. They want 30 of them. Good job of building more. So if I whack it to the very top, I will still get a load of money and goodness because they still like it. Now, I'm not going to bother bringing the deadline down because there's no point. But yes, the Italians can have them any day. Currently I have 27, so in a few days I'll be able to ship them off anyway. The Italians are happy with it. They are saying, yes, give it to me. And just like that, I have 30 of them in stock. So, quantity, 30. This is going to give me a load of money. I'll just use them because they're 
fine. And off they go. New resources have arrived. Excellent. Let's get some more coming in. Ooh, now the French want some. They want the saturation tank, which is the little ones. Well, don't we already have a lot of them anyway? The competition is using the Renault thing with a score 423. Whereas the one we have in storage is... Where did it go? I think it's that one, but I could be wrong. Yeah, the LK2 Crump Mark 1, I've got 30 of them, they'll like them. They're up for buying 34, well I'll just give them 30. And then that's all of them out the way and sold and everything now i can ramp the price up but i'm not going to make any money on it if i do that so if i just tickle it a little bit there we go still three quarters of a million quid got loads of time to send them off as well these other ones from the other contract are going to be there in just three days now then the big boy tank has arrived Let's stick an engine in there. We'll go for that one. See, look, the compartment is separated. So there's a big solid doodah there and the fuel's in front of it. Makes no sense to me, but it is what it is. But regardless, no, that works. We've got the best, biggest engine in there. Oh my giddy out, we can stick that on there. How on earth would that work? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, jeez, the back end of it is... No way. All right. Well, um, there's that. And then there is that, which also kind of works. So I think we'll be going with that one. I'm going to see if it'll let me do one of the other version as well. Just because it'll be funny. And then there's the original track, Centipede version I mean, that's gonna struggle with the weight but somehow the hull itself isn't too bad but we haven't stuck the turrets on there yet so we'll see what that goes up to oh yeah look see we, we do have a central cab in there as well now we've got sponsons as well nice nice yeah we've got sponsons as well get rid of all these male versions we don't use them all the female versions Combo one, yes. The combo one there. Then we've got a six pounder gun on either side. A Hotchkiss gun there and another Hotchkiss machine gun there. Oh, right. Now I've clicked. So on the new tracks, which I haven't invented yet, I'm pretty sure you can stick another machine gun further down. Anyway, oh my giddy aunt, look at all the people you can stuff in this thing. That's ridiculous. Oh. We're over the limit. Oh, that's not good. Right. Well, can we shave off some weight? Let's see if we can stick some people in first and see how much weight we need to save. We're talking 1.2 ton. Yeah, how much does that weigh? That's a lot of attribute points. Um, okay, I can save some weight by using the older Sponson, which has not got the upgraded armor on there. And stick in the new machine guns. All right, so now we're up to 800 kilos. I can save some more if I use a lighter engine. See, the engine it's got in there now is three ton. The lighter version is a half a ton less, very similar performance. However, we're still third of a ton over now i could get rid of that oh 
there's the older one that's just not gonna be enough but 83 kilos over will it let me get away with that don't why no well let's just stick on some stuff and see now you'd think this would add more weight to it but for whatever reason it doesn't what paint should we go for for the first one I've been liking this colour lately I don't know why should we go for that one if it's the first one Might switch it up a little bit is it going to let me no fair enough well just for the sake of getting it done I'm going to have to stick in a lighter engine which is going to mean going for this one which goes in the whip now <laughs> no must have a better one is that one that's actually even lighter but it's got some good points I think that's the German one it is really would that pull that probably not but it gets me under the limit. I'm afraid it's just going to have to do. And I'll, I'll just leave it at that for now, I think. Ooh, the crew. I don't need an extra mechanic. Right. I've, I've, I've fiddled. I have fiddled. I've put the better engine in there again. And I'm eight kilos off. So what I'm going to do is one of the sponsons I'm going to put them as the Mark 1 sponson which is around 40 kilos lighter and that then will give me just about the weight allowance <laughs> I've done it with a better engine Woo right let's do that yes 33 days nice and that is why I need the better tracks, because the better, bigger tracks give more weight allowance. Which is lovely. Where have they gone? There they are. Yeah, look. 45 ton allowance, so I can go mental. Oh my giddy ant. For the first time, the Germans are after some tankage. They're wanting a salt tank, so that's going to be the A7V. Does this mean that I can actually grab one of them at some point? Trophies, I still can't get one. But the Germans... Oh, yeah, look, see, see? They're wanting two regiments, so finally they're getting there. Now, the best thing that I've got which can match that is that other tank which I've got which has the two what's it's on it the um oh geez my brain's gone blank six pounder guns so if we have a look at this contract there it is and we put a bid in for our glorious tank See, look, our score, 877. That's not as high as what I thought it would be. They don't like any... Oh, they like that. Where's it gone? They quite like the Whippet tank. Okay, that's the new one that I made. That's actually quite surprising. Yeah, so this thing is the one that they like the most, 877. And I reckon... Yeah, theirs has score of 418, which isn't bad. So on everything, we trump it. Now we've proper got firepower. We've got all the, yeah, we've got all the firepower that we can possibly want. The only thing that lets us down is the protection, which the A7V will do better at. However, we can still get a load of money from this. Now, how many of these things do I actually have? Oh, geez. Yeah, the Italians just bought a load, didn't they? I currently only have four. <laughs> that would be enough, is it? And I'm currently building 16. 
after that so i'll bring it to 20 and then i want another 10 after that so add another 15 days onto that which will be 40 days and then delivery call that an extra 15 days so 55 days call it 60 and they should be good so as long as on this contract i do it good and proper there they are we should be all dandy so two months really which will bring us to the 10th of the 10th sorry the 28th of the 10th and we've got loads of time because this goes up to the 12th so i'm, I'm happy with that i could get slide it fairly high up there i'm just not going to push it i'm going to give myself a little bit more time well this will be a one and a half million contract which is right lovely and we shall see how they like that the contract from the Italians they are happy with it oh here we go Ethiopia and Britain have decided to murder each other tanks have just been delivered oh yeah we've been paid again 7.8 million right lovely now we're just waiting waiting on production and resources nice oh geez now they want oh what's that that is the female fish oh geez right so now the british want tanks as well is it yep damn it yeah they want the same thing that one oh man oh but look at that they like that Ooh. it's interesting to see what else they oh they really like that one a medium whip it mark five that might be a good option just because it's really easy for me to produce anything else they get rather wet at too bad on the hornet not too bad lk2 still quite good they obviously like this one the best they really like that medium whip it mark five just as much and this thing costs half as much for me to produce and i can produce it a lot quicker so i'm actually going to offer them the whip it mark five now that score will probably go up if i fix the things that are wrong with it so i'll go and do that first shall i let's throw some money at it didn't actually think i'd be selling any of these but there was always a chance so the things that are wrong with it is that there's too many crew in there which never does anybody any good so that they all stumble over each other one person sneezes and they all get infected the thing is just heavy so the tracks suffer things come loose and everything else and it's just not very nice and the protection apparently stealth <laughs> stealth in a world war one tank i'm sure existed but anyway reliability is questionable as well apparently but throwing money at it fixes it and everything is dandy and the score didn't go up very much <laughs> oh well never mind i will still offer them that anyway so um they're gonna 52 oh gee i don't even know how long these things will well regardless right what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna chance it so the first of well january 1984 well three months from now ish oh, is that gonna be enough time it might be it might not but i am going to chance it the competitor is that 414 i've got the maximum profit 52 of the damn things i'm gonna i'm gonna do it this is a nearly three million pound contract let's just hope we don't have any fires in the production hall let's hope we can get resources <laughs> right after oh geez right i accepted that one as well let's um let's hope nothing goes wrong let's put it that way right well there's this contract where they wanted the corrupt somebody wanted that can't remember who but we got these in storage let's send them off and get them going 
But the Germans are happy with that contract, so I better get building them pretty sharpish. Ooh, there's a war that has concluded. France won. France won the defense, so good for them. Oh, now the British have accepted that. Right, well, we're locked into contract now. Another one. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. What? Ethiopia beat back the British. Jeez. All righty, then. Well, there's the first. Romania apparently want a assault tank. That is the A7V sort of tank. Okay. Contract completed for the French. That was the little German tanks that are sent to them. Nice. Norway won the war against Sweden. Interesting. Right, so now we just have the two contracts. The 30 big tanks for Germany and 52 of the whippets for Britain. Oh, we should be all right then. We should be. Well, this is definitely interesting. It looks like the Austro-Hungarian Empire decided to attack Switzerland. But when they went to go and attack the trenches, there was nobody there. And they've got no idea why. Okay. That means they have taken over territory. Yes, they have. But they've got an army. Why didn't they bloody use it? What? I mean, yeah, there might be a little bit, you know, slapped in the face a little bit, but come on. Oh, no, the Germans want even more tanks. And there has been a new war now started between Romania and the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Now, the Hungarians don't have any tanks, but their army is not too shabby. The Romanians don't have any tanks, and their army is also not too shabby. Who's going to win that? I don't quite know, really, but Romania is the one that is on the attack. New resources are in. That is good. We need them, and we need even more. Getting supplies in. Production has also ended. Now then, how many do we have then? I think I need 10 more. Yeah. 10 more of them. That is it. Then that is enough to satisfy the Germans. 16 days, and then we can start building them whippet tanks. But the Germans also want more. Now, am I going to have to ha have a contract let go? Because I don't think I'm going to be able to get more in. Because they still want this stuff in by then. And these take a long time to build. We can work it out. So the 23rd of the 1st is the deadline. So four months from now. To finish this, to produce 10, it's 16 days. So to produce 20, which is the minimum they want, really, that'll be 32, which is a month. But between then and now, we have to produce these and then build 52 whippet tanks so really that's two months ish worth of production before we begin on that so before we begin we'll be on the 22nd of the 11th which means another month after that you're talking 22nd of the 12th which actually gives me about a month to play with. So, we should be good as long as I only build 20. So, yes, I'm going to take that one on as well. I'm going to push that to the limit, keep it at 20, and see what I can just scrounge out of them. 
more money all the time. I'm happy with that. We'll just go for uh, 488. It's an extra million. Yes, we will do that. Apparently, the Hungarians are looking at a rationalized tank. Now, what that is, I have absolutely no idea. How useful is that? And the Germans have accepted. Ooh, our design has been completed of the Mark III, Mark Duda. I'll be able to tickle that in three days. Trials completed. Let's get the trials of that one sorted. And let's have a look-see. Oh my sweet Jesus, look at the size of that. That is right lovely. To be fair, it's the same length, but it's got the body on it. Look at that thing go. I can't even wheel out to see the very back of the damn thing. Despite, oh no, we put the better engine in it, didn't we? That's probably why it's moving quite well. Well, I say that. It doesn't want to turn. Oh my Gideon. That is going. Off we go. Oh, it does turn. It does turn. <laughs> and yeah, we've still got the two cannons on it. So this should be superior to the previous one. When I get the better tracks on this thing, I'll be able to put the stuff on with a better armor, especially in the turrets. And then there's another centerpiece on this which fits in. I'm pretty sure you can stick machine guns in that, but on the tracks themselves, near the back, near the engine compartment, I'm sure you can stick another machine gun as well. And then this will be the biggest tank that we have, which can cross any trench, designed to cross any trench that the Germans could have possibly made. It barely fits around it. Oh, jeez. Just took out a post. Come on. There we go. Oh, I might imagine trying to drive this thing around. And this is in a game. Never mind actually whizzing this thing about. It must have been hard work. But now, what do you think? Is it right, lovely? Or is it not? Let me know in the comments. I think. See that front compartment there? I tried pointing at the screen then to show you that's if you can see that but I like that right in the middle there they can actually kind of see where they're going now on that note I'm gonna leave this episode here there's some important things to look out for so the Germans now have tanks which means I may be able to get my hands on them in terms of trophies, reverse engineer them and make some stupid wacky designs. We like that. The French have their own tanks, which I should be able to get as the wire crusher tank. I still need to somehow grab hold of that. And there's the nest buster tank, which I still need to grab hold of as well. Let's see if we can get them next episode because I suspect wars are going to be happening. And that's usually when we get them. Have a jolly good day. Drink some tea and I shall see you in the next one. ta -ra! Thank you for watching this video all the way through. Hopefully if you have, if you can like the video too, that helps as well. A special thank you to all of the members of the channel who get lovely benefits of up to two weeks worth of additional content early. Isn't that right, lovely? Now, the next video, if it's available, will be on the screen right now to the bottom left and the full playlist to the bottom right. Have a good one.